Hey, what is going on everyone? So here we are back again for a update video uh, for the Wong Chosen One milestone event. Finally, after being able to get into the game, uh, I had like about 15 minutes of trouble uh, being able to log in. Uh, but finally we're in, we're able to uh, verify some of the stuff from the video this morning. Also add in the orb opening milestone and the web milestone math here as well. So uh, without further ado, let's get the show started. And before we get to the math, uh, that'll be in the second part of the video, I do want to talk about the uh, web milestone, the Mystic Portal milestone. Uh, this is very easy to do. And make sure you're signing into MarvelStrikeForce.com and, and you know going to the milestone section where you're going to find that. Scoring for this is very easy. You just win raids, battles, and you get 250. Now, this is win, not win or lose. So this is interesting because you actually have to win the battle. Uh, when we take a look at the math, you'll find out that um, it's not a lot of battles, but you do have to win it. So in the past, it was win or lose, and you could just like go in and like cancel, for example. But this, you do actually have to win the battle. But it doesn't, ma doesn't matter who you're using. So that's a plus, I guess. Uh, in terms of what you're going to get out of here for the rewards, uh, a lot of it is the Supreme Phantasm Orbs, and we're going to talk about that more uh, when we look at the orb opening milestone and how many orbs you're going to need for that. You get some T2 and T3 ability materials, and actually about like 160 or something T4 ability materials, which is nice, and uh, 80 dark promotion credits. So kind of random there, uh, but a pretty good bulk of the orbs, and we'll talk about that uh, when we get to that section. Secondly, uh, this is the Chosen One uh, milestone. This is the orb opening milestone. You get 225 points per orb. Again, when we get to the spreadsheet, that'll be important for what we get. Now, in, in terms of other rewards in here, it's a lot of kind of random stuff, some orbs, um, catalysts, the emblems are quite important. There's actually quite a bit of emblems in here. There's also Wong shards. There's uh, 25 free to play Wong shards and 25 more that are going to be not free to play. So I'll tell you that actually a lot of this is free to play obtainable, uh, but some of the milestones obviously are a bit more crackeny. So or whaley, uh, which is going to be, I believe it might be 28 onwards. Uh, I know you're not getting 29, you're not getting 30 unless you spend. My guess is there's going to be some offers. 250 T4s plus the 30 minis and like 30 more minis down here and these armory 16 orbs. So those are not accessible free to play. Just just a little bit of a heads up about that. Uh, and then we have the Ancient Arts Milestone, which again, I went over this morning on that video, which a lot of you probably already checked out at this point. And you can see that I, I believe it's unchanged from uh, what was mentioned on the blog post. There was some random stuff, but you do need to get to the very end uh, if you do want to get the costume. Uh, this largely is available free to play, and it's for a win or lose arena battle. The interesting thing is uh, you're, it is the 65 points. You know, I, I honestly was surprised that this is the case, but it's a win blitz battle as well. So make sure you do that. It doesn't matter, apparently, if it's sim or manual, and you're getting 65. So I was really shocked, but that's good because if you watch the video from this morning, then you know that this is the better version of the scenario so you'll have you'll be having to do let's let's blitz rotations but you are going to make sure that you're winning of course uh and the, the arena battle is win or lose so uh this one is actually fairly friendly and should be available uh free to play and i'm just making sure that the rewards are accurate because i know we had a problem with the prior life milestone that was in the web milestone rewarding star fragments or some shit like that uh before we get to the math i want to take a look at the orb itself what's in this supreme phantasm orb hey let's buy that really quick <laughs> towards my gambit yeah that's great uh so let's take a look at the supreme phantasm orb contains on the left pillar up to a million gold but more commonly about 20k uh so that's pretty interesting for a jackpot right pillar we get some random yellow catalyst stuff orange catalyst rather uh and some armory orb fragments and then in the center we have pimp oh this is really random uh, chances at Darkhold characters and Cersei. Uh, I think it, I was gonna say I thought they're Mystic, but no, it, it, this is really random. Agatha, Strange, Wong. Actually, all of the Darkhold, Cersei, Kestrel. It, it's it's a bit of a mix. Uh, so you can get up to ten of these, I guess. A so three, five, and then ten. Okay, so it's not terrible, especially if you're someone who is missing um, shards for Agatha, maybe trying to get an extra, you know, gear tier, or not a gear tier, a star rank level on Wong or anything like that. So overall, that's not too bad. Uh, let's check the offers because I just want to really quickly take a look here 
And it looks like there are ways that you can power level your way through uh, the Chosen One, which is basically buying the orbs. And that's how you're going to bridge the gap on the math in order to get those extra 25 Wong shards or for those origins, those those teal pieces if you really want to get those. So this offer basically is how what you're going to bridge the gap with. I think that's exactly uh, how much that you're going to need for that. So let's double check on the math section now. So we're basically, if you watch my video from this morning, you know, I just basically cut out the 45 point section. And so you're going to be looking pretty good as far as clearing this milestone. Uh, you need 58,000 for the Wong costume. And if you do this stuff, you'll get 70,000, which is basically like four Blitz rotations at 35 wins with three arena battles. You're going to be well over that mark. You're going to be at 70,000 uh, versus 58,000. But let's talk about the web milestone. Uh, so that's 22,000 points. Uh, there's no A-Force emblems. I just put that just in case. Uh, but you are going to get 26 Supreme Phantasm Orbs, assuming that my <laughs> and I added that up properly uh, and then 257 points for a raid battle and if you did like 16 daily raid battles now make sure this this is a win so it's a, you have to win so I'm just going to make sure that's in there uh, then you're going to get 4,112 points over 7 days that's 28,784 if you do basically 8 raid battles over both of the raids uh, every day you're going to get more than enough points to clear this milestone just make sure it's a win right you know it can't be a loss uh, the chosen one milestone uh, again, they're all seven-day milestones. So this is 18,000 points for the orb opening milestone. There is 5,200 A-Force emblems. Now, there is that 50, 1560 bulk emblems that's going to be at 12,000 uh, milestone points, and that's 54 orbs opened, and that is free-to-play accessible. So all of these A-Force emblems, you know, I'm going to put this in green because they are actually all free-to-play accessible, which is really nice. There's a total of 50 Wong Shards, but 25 of them are at the 69 orb open spot, which I don't believe is free-to-play because I've done the math and you can't get there. You get 225 points for an orb, and then you need 80 orbs if you want to complete the entire milestone. So you can see that you're basically short about 11 orbs. So what that means, of course, is going back to this, you know, if you buy this offer here, this will bridge the gap for you. Now, this is $81 Canadian, so I don't know what this is in American, maybe $60 American, uh, but you're going to need to buy this offer if you want to bridge the gap. I'm not encouraging spending, uh, but if you are someone who wants to clear this, then you're going to have to do that. You get orbs, uh, four orbs from the Chosen One login calendar. This is going to be pretty soon. Uh, people in Australia will have, and actually I may have a, I might be able to pull this up really quick, uh, a photo of this here, yep. So I'll drag this up over here. This is the chosen one login calendar. So there are uh, four orbs available over seven days with some other random crap in there as well. So uh, just to show that really quickly for you, there's going to be 33 ancient art, uh, 33 orbs in the ancient arts milestone, 26 in the mystic portal. That's a grand total of 63 orbs. So like I said, that does uh, give the 17 short, unfortunately, of what you need to clear. And actually what's interesting, now that I think about it, uh, 17... This offers 14. So how do you get the other three? There must be another offer. You're going to need more than just this offer if you want to clear it. Again, I don't really encourage spending, uh, but it looks like you're going to need actually slightly more than that offer if you want to clear this milestone. So uh, that will get you, though, the Wong Shards, but it may not get you that final last milestone. So uh, just a heads up there, and I want to kind of transfer this 5200 uh, from the A-Force Emblems now that we know this into the... Uh, into my running tally that you might have seen from the previous video as well and so i'm going to add that all up here and this is an, a running tally of of what's going to be available total by the event end of the event and adding everything up there because we have i've added up all the quick rumble blitzes and this does not include the sister grim milestone which is going to be coming in week four as well uh which is the nico minoru unlock event so forty one thousand four hundred and eighteen points which are hypothetically available if you completed all of the milestone events up till now free to play and that doesn't actually even include the sunday blitz bug so i want to kind of look at the milestone now and where that brings you to that 41,400. and so that's pretty interesting because that gets you to the first teal gear piece it's like just barely skates by right and so that's pretty good that includes everything the nico minoru staff and all that thing that is mo most likely going to be available free to play uh there's a few things that we don't know yet because there's events still to come and so this doesn't quite get us to milestone 39 but this pretty much does get you to milestone 38 now if you did take advantage of the blitz bug on sunday then i think you are actually skating closer to milestone 39 i don't think you're gonna we're gonna get to milestone 40 but yeah knowing that you can get this piece here actually feels 
pretty good. And uh, maybe we will get to 39, but we don't know the full picture yet. So uh, that's the end of this update video here really quick. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the start of this event. Of course, more blitzing to come. And we have some more event videos on the way as well, talking about the Niku Mor Minoru event coming up next week. So uh, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boil on signing out.